Hi everyone, I am Arsalan Riyaz, a research fellow at Precision Medicine Lab, Pakistan. This poster is titled Computational Classification of Pathological Stages of Heterodox Coma Cell Carcinoma Using DNA Methylation. This project revolves around the head and neck cancer, which is the sixth leading cause of cancer in South Asian countries including Pakistan. Studies have shown that DNA methylation is an important driver of many of the distinct stages of cancer, contributing to its pathophysiology. This statement leads to our research question that can we predict specific pathological stages of HNSCC by just using DNA methylation data? In previous studies, Two stage classifiers have been developed based on differentially methylated CPG sites. However, there is still a gap for developing a four stage classification model not only on differentially methylated CPG sites but all CPG sites that are, that are found to be associated with mutated genes in HNSCC, which are likely to get neglected because of the computational expense. To fill this gap, we were required to retrieve and process primary tumor DNA methylation profiles of HNSCC with known pathological stages, then identifying the key CPG sites and building machine learning, learning models based on these CPG sites. To achieve this objective, I randomly selected and processed methylation files of 108 patients of pathological stage of 1 to 4A with the sample size of 27 files per stage to avoid the class bias in the machine learning models. Since each file was consist of more than uh, 480,000 CPG sites, which were mapped to 18,509 genes that were found to be mutated in HNCC to grab more than 350,000 CPG sites, and after missing value imputations, uh, each file was reduced to about 994,000 CPG sites. After processing, the CPG sites were divided into 148 sets of 2,000 sites, and only each set a uh, feature selection algorithm called the Baruta algorithm was applied aggressively to identify 68 uh, power predictive CPG sites. You can pause the video uh, to go through this flowchart for better understanding of the methodology. These 68 CPG sites were identified through the algorithm by calculating the importance level based on comparative disease score of the shadow and original attributes. When we use these 68 CPG sites as features in the machine learning classifiers, we achieved an accuracy of 90.62% with the random forest classifier, which is very significant as compared to the support worker machine and k nearest neighbor classifiers that can be seen in the box plot and confusion matrices as well. On feature contribution analysis in the best classifier, that is the random forest, we observed the contribution of most CPG sites for stage 4A while least for stage 1, consistent with the fact that tumor progression is attributed to the accumulation of alteration over, over the time driving the course of the disease. These 68 CPG sites that are prioritized using the Baruta algorithm are associated with 67 genes. Network analysis showed that LMNA, HIST3, H3, and CRK are the hub genes in the human PPI network of 63 proteins encoded by the genes as shown in the network of 2566 nodes and 374 edges. Interaction for the remaining 4 genes out of 67 were not found. We also found 18 densely connected proteins using uh, M code as shown in figure B. Enrichment analysis also showed that the genes were enriched in core terms associated with structural development, cell differentiation and proliferation, signal transduction, metabolic and biosynthetic processes, while some genes were also involved in cancer-related pathways like MAPK and WNT signaling pathways and also apoptosis. In conclusion, we identified 68 CBG sites as potential features using the Baruta algorithm and a random forest classifier that can be used to predict the pathological stages of HNSCC with significant accuracy, which demonstrates the promising capabilities of the Baruta algorithm on larger datasets like DNA methylation datasets. In future, an integrated omics analysis of these findings will help us narrow down the list further of ideal candidates or genes, and then the role of these candidates will be needed to be validated using in vitro or in vivo models.
In the end, I'd like to thank the Precision Medicine Lab, the funding bodies, the ISCB for putting up the ISMB conference. Lastly, feel free to pause the video at any time to review the initial slides of my poster. You can also contact me at muhammad.arsalan at ccos.edu.pk for any queries. Thank you.